This is Talk Gamer 007. I know I am two days late with this news. I wanted to wait and get all the Kingdom Hearts news of D23 in one huge video and everything on the more interviews. So let's talk about Kingdom Hearts news. The new D23 trailer was released and it showed Sora's new drill keyblade transformation it, that was shown in the sil silhouette at the end of the orchestra trailer and 4 minutes of Toy Story World in Kingdom Hearts 3 mech battles, toy, ba to toy battles, battles, whatever you want to call it and it released year 2018 plus more, plus more, plus more, plus more I'm not here to fantasize playing Kingdom Hearts 3 next year but about the news <laughs> of what Nidmoria said in interviews all in one video so let's get on with it <laughs> after D23 video game showcase IGN cornered Kingdom Hearts series director to see in Nomura the topic of the Kingdom Hearts series coming to the Nintendo Switch came up in this interview Nor Nomura told it IGN, it's po maybe possible for Kingdom Hearts 3 to appear on a Nintendo Switch, but only after they complete on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One first. Quote unquote, I'm going to tell you the quote, quote quote, uh, quote unquote. The Nintendo Switch is definitely a unique piece of hardware, but if we say lightly, oh yeah, we be it will be on the Nintendo Switch. I'm sure people will come back and say, but what about PS4 and Xbox One? We want them out first. Don't focus on other platforms. Nomura told IGN. So, for now, we want to focus on what platforms we already announced and where we're going to be releasing Kingdom Hearts 3 on. And after, perhaps, maybe we could start thinking about other possibilities. I would love Kingdom Hearts 3 on the Switch, actually. I, But to me, right, I paid... I paid uh, for a PS4, for, for Final Fantasy 15, Kingdom Hearts 3, and two years later, Final Fantasy 7 Remake was announced, and I bought, and apparently I bought it for that too. So, if it came on a Switch, it would have been a ripoff for me because I got a Switch, but it doesn't matter. When Kingdom Hearts 3 does come on the Switch, I buy it a second time. So, let's get on to another news. Siri director to see in Nomura also reveal that Sora won't be the only playable character, just like Birth by Sleep, Kingdom Hearts 2 was, and Dream Drop Distance. It won't be the only character playable in Kingdom Hearts 3. While he declined to reveal who's this mysterious character, man, it might even be Riku. It might be, I have a feeling that it might be Riku in the Realm of Darkness, but yeah, well, that's another thing. Riku and Mickey in the Realm of Darkness look looking for Ventus, but you know all the other um, other people. Well, that's most I'm gonna be sore. But yeah, <laughs> oh my god, he didn't want to reveal who this mystery person will be, and it isn't the first time it came like this in the series. Yeah, we all know this, and the full quotes of all the topics are gonna be in the link in the description below. I just want to get this all quickly as possible in bullets, right? So. We will not be telling the quotes. The quotes will be in the description below and all the links with the timestamps. So let's go on with the next one. The next bullet, VG Bulletin. All right. Another thing, Namor revealed that there will be more than five people in Sora Party at certain parts of the game. The D23 trailer shows that Buzz Lightyear and Woody will join Sora in Toy Story alongside with Don and Goofy. Man. Oh, oh. Oh man, this is really good, man. All right, this is I, these these quotes and all these interviews. These are really interesting to me. But let's go on some sad news that GameSpot as gave uh, gave well N Nomura gave the GameStop in the interview. All right, number next bullet. We're gonna say Nomura is emotional. When fans ask why Kingdom Hearts 3 is taking so long, that's another one. Another bullet that 
the more said in an interview. Uh, this is not quotes, obviously. This is just me summarizing. Summarizing. The, the company executive made Kingdom Hearts 3 move to Unreal Engine 4 and made further delays when transferring from Luminous Engine to Unreal Engine 4. This was a sad thing. Actually, it's sad because uh, when I heard this in 2014, they were moving to Unreal Engine 4. I knew it was going to be delayed because you have to move all the assets you already did for a year in development. I was actually uh, really angry. Uh, not angry, uh, disappointed that the company did that. They, maybe they made a deal with Unreal Engine. They said, well, that's not a huge uh, deal because it's only one year in. But anyway, let's move on to another one. Uh, Namor also revealed that he'll be revealing all Kingdom Hearts 3 Disney Worlds. When I say Disney, I mean, I don't know what it is. I'm not gonna. I don't know if he's talking about worlds. Me, even the final boss world. I doubt he's gonna do that. So I'm gonna say Disney Worlds before reveal re the release for marketing part of the development of Kingdom Hearts Three. All right, those are all the bulletin, the bullets, the three bullets that I'm just want to summarize. And let's end the video with a Namur quote on DLC. All right, nothing is set in stone. I am afraid. We can't go into details, but I just told the team, just be prepared to be able to accommodate for anything like that, Namor said. We can't suddenly develop a system where it accommodated for the downloadable content, DLC, so it's not confirming or denying either way, but just so that the development team will be prepared, and I have informed them to make the Making the preparations. <laughs> All I can say no more. I'm telling this to from my heart. Please don't be a Tabata. Finish the game and look in the future. Not a Tabata. Look in the future and pre-order the DLC. I'll buy Kingdom Hearts 3 DLC no matter what. But please do not do a, a Tabata. Please. From Alice 15 if you don't know. So, yes. It's about time to end my video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you like videos like this one. This is Top Gamer 7, and I see you in the next one. Peace.